All right, we'll do a bit of an unboxing here in the back parking lot of rugby practice. It's from B and H. I wonder what this could be. Got the brand new, just announced, Peak Design Everyday Backpack Zip. That is the collaboration with, should be the collaboration with Logitech, except it's not, and that would be disappointing. Oh, now look at that. The label here does not say anything about it being the Logitech collaboration, but we can see the G symbol on it. So, let's get this junk out of the way. Oh, maybe we'll put a little plastic down on the muddy mud here. Let's open her up. So, I've got the Peak Design 45 liter travel bag. So, this is new. Oh, look at this. Nice little, uh, the Peak Design quick release there, but I got some of those. One of the uh, little Peak Design straps that hooks onto things, and then the 45 liter bag there up under a little panel there uh, in the travel bag series. Let's see if there's any surprises on the other side. So, we've got the hang tag, another little strap. There's some nice little accessories. I don't remember seeing those in the description. Now, Let's open it up. Nice and small. And here's the thing I think that's very interesting about this Peak Design bag is these removable Velcro pouches, a uh, little magnetic bit there. Air packing material. Toss that. This is the thing I wondered the most about, and that is this little keyboard holder area. I didn't bother to look at the dimensions on the website. I figured this would sort of sort itself out. This is my big ergonomic keyboard that I'm not a gamer, but I'm in, in the office. I carry this back and forth. Clearly that's not going to fit there, nor is it even going to fit height-wise. Not necessarily a deal breaker for me. It was just something I was curious about. So we'll toss that in there. The thing I was most interested in is I've got my JBL headphones here. And the ability to put those... Oh, look at this. There's some more little pouches. So we've got some other side of pouches in there. But the idea of putting these headphones in this little headphone carrying area is very intriguing. So we'll set these aside for a moment. Just take a look at the features real quick. So we've got the side pocket there, side pocket there, little zip. Got some little cord organization there on the zip. No idea if that's coming through in the video. I'm trying a new camera angle here in the back trunk of the truck. Little cord pouches there. I'll go ahead and take that off for now. Toss that back in the box it came in. It's nice, it fully opens up. I think we've seen a lot of packs with this kind of design. One of the things that on the website uh, and the promotional materials for this didn't really show, I don't think, the laptop space. So let's take a quick look at that before we do the ritual of the bag transfer. So, kind of tight in there. space going down. This one here, this frontmost one, kind of shallow. Some little dividers. A little space there. So. We've got the, the swing through. Trying to see what's over there. There is space here for a, for a hip belt. I can feel 
um, the Velcro loop field back behind there for the hip belt. Not quite sure. I have to go back and look at the directions and see how that looks. But side by side here, no idea how this is going to come through in the video, but got the uh, Alpha 19er Stealth Cobra Cariology collaboration. Clearly much bigger than this. Everybody who knows about this bag knows that it's pretty thick when it comes to the fabric. So let's just see what we can transfer over. And we'll start kind of with the uh, office PC stuff here. So one laptop, two laptops. I'm actually using the iPad as a little video monitor there. So a little iPad skip. Let's go ahead and see if we can just put these back here. Yeah, in my head, I'm still thinking on that uh, that keyboard that was awful small. All right, so we'll just throw one laptop in there. I often don't even worry about separating these two with different fabric, uh, but they do both fit in there. And again, there's sort of a cable space, and it kind of has some, kind of goes into the main compartment there in the bag. All right, let's open this up. So in addition to the headphone spot there, one of the other things that really interested me about this bag um, is the space for the mouse. And so, like, for example, on the Alpha 1.9er, the, the, the collab they did with the uh, BO gear on the spare camel. That is one where it doesn't, uh, when you have your mouse and your cords in the back admin area, they press into the main area. Same with like the Alpha 1 Niner uh, Pathfinder there. So this is interesting because these, the way that Peak kind of promotes these in collaboration with Logitech is that you put your accessories in these, right? So you've got your mouse. Uh, again, it's a gaming bag, and I'm trying to look at it for office, EDC, kind of knowledge worker, tech geek uh, perspectives there. Let's see, I know I've got up here. I've got a whole mess of things that we could load up in here, but I was lazy when I left the office, so I just kind of put together the anchor and the two USBs, so we'll toss that in there. Let's see what else is interesting. I often have a couple of notebooks. There's probably space in the back there. Might come back to those. A little Rico GR3 camera. We'll put that in the little side pocket. A little tchotchke wallet there. I'll put that in the other side pocket. The thing I'm kind of leading up to here is just to see how much space, once we close all this, we actually get in the bag. I don't know what kind of pouchy things do I have here. Uh, let's see. All right, got the REI stuff travel tote. This is the, the Matador speed stash, which I'm actually not a big fan of. I like the shape of it, but it always falls off uh, straps, even when you put the, the sternum strap through there. But we'll put it in there. Here's the little pouchy. Came with the dragon. I've got a county com little ID thing on here because uh, I actually have a whole printing setup with that Fuji Instax printer that I take around to like kids' sports games and they have fun with it. Uh, a bunch of extra things. We can certainly organize this a lot better, but I'm just going to dump all this in here. I'm just trying to get an idea of you know, how much space do we get here when this area sort of impinges upon that. So, hopefully this shows up. So we can see we've got a little space there. I mean, you could probably pare down some of the carry here with it. Some of the things I'm loading out from an office perspective and easily do kind of an overnight, you know, in the summer. Uh, just some minimalist kind of stuff. Are we getting this a little bit dusty? Uh, so yeah, so this is interesting. You know, I think... I didn't really reasonably expect, I guess this is for hiding away the straps or whatever, but I didn't really reasonably expect the keyboard to fit um, this big honking ergo with the 10 key on the side. I did not expect that to fit in this little pouch. 
that came with it, but I did not expect the pouch to be that small. Um, so it would have, would be nice on the marketing for those of us who don't read the actual descriptions and measurements and things like that. To maybe call out that it's a very mini keyboard because there's no way this full size one is going in. That said, I do happen to have, also made by Logitech, this little Logi keys that I carry for my iPad. It's nice because this is a completely sealed membrane, so you don't worry about spilling anything on there. Uh, I guess this will fit in there. So yeah, I mean, I guess if I really wanted this thing to be carried there, but I don't really have to worry about this because, again, it's a sealed membrane. So no real big deal there. So I guess this is just sort of a first look. Zip it up. And real quick, I'll just see about this uh, big old Malagin inside. Proud Orange Yeti, that's popular. Got little hang tags in the way there. So yeah, I mean, I, other than the fact that you know, I'm not really going to sit my keyboard in there, I could see this potentially making a really nice kind of office. EDC bag, in addition to just being a gamer bag that's marketed as. Um, you know, I've got these two 13-inch laptops in there. I'm not sure you're fit, fitting much bigger than that. Even with the headphones and stuff in there, I can still feel addition of space in there. So again, quick video while I'm hanging out here at the back of the park. Get to my headphones easily if I need to hop on a call. I usually use my earbuds, but sometimes my ears itch. And I can see as we open this up, these start to kind of fold open and present themselves. So it would probably make sense when packing this out to take some of these, probably put my cord and cables here. Just let it hang like that. So then when it opens up, these kind of come out there. So all in all, interesting. Definitely something to check out a bit more and uh, I don't know, maybe I just need to get a smaller keyboard.